Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today we have a 1990 Mercedes-Benz 420 SEL. Now it's white in colour with navy blue leather interior. The car is in very good condition. It's got a very good service history to it. And it's got a number of receipts for all the money that's been spent on the car over the past few years. It's even got the original receipt for when the car was brand new. That Mercedes-Benz. It's done 280,000 kilometres, but the car has been very well looked after. It has had a rebuilt transmission, which is common on, the, on these cars when they get to this age. And it's also had a timing chain kit and guides. The timing chain in the gearbox is probably the main issue the W126 had, especially the V8. And it's all been done, and I believe this car's had about $10,000 spent on it over the past few years. It's a long wheelbase, obviously. You can see that beautiful big door. The leather is in very good condition. The wheels all look like brand new. It's got good tyres on it. The car's obviously been garaged for most of its life. You can see all the tail lights are in very good condition as well. It's got two keys, the original log books, manuals. Here's some of the history. So here it was purchased brand new at Marshall, so it's always been in Sydney. Memory switch, so this was $161,000 in 1990. Unbelievable. There's a number of other receipts here. I noticed there was a funds transfer for about $9,900. It's gone to Carlo Kittle Motors, who's a very good Mercedes-Benz specialist local to us. And there, yeah, the list just goes on. It's had a lot of money spent in it. Unfortunately, what you'll find with a lot of these W126s, they've sat around for a long time. It could have been for five or ten years. And the cars may look good. And they may feel good when you sit in them, but as soon as you start driving them, you can be up for thousands of dollars for mechanicals. This car's got 280,000 kilometres and it's been driven consistently. It hasn't sat for long periods of time or anything like that, which is something to look for. Because if you stop driving these cars, if someone, sometimes someone passes away, it gets inherited, gets put in a garage and forgotten about for a couple of years, as soon as you start driving and all the rubber components go all hard. So you've got to spend a number of dollars thousands of dollars potentially on suspension components. It's also got self-leveling suspension, which is another thing which can come up if the car hasn't been driven. But as far as we know, and from what we can see, our, we've got two in-house mechanics who have looked at the car. And there's nothing to spend at the present time. The air conditioning is cold. The gearbox changes gear immediately. You can tell especially with the 126, whether it's a V8 or a six-cylinder, if it takes more than a couple of seconds to go into reverse, it means you'll be up for a gearbox in probably three to six months. This goes into reverse immediately. It goes into drive immediately because the gearbox has been rebuilt, as I said. Another thing is the air conditioning, and people love saying, oh, it just needs a bit of gas. Well, if the gas isn't there, there's, there's often a reason for it. It's usually because you need a compressor, which is another $1,000. So all these little things add up is, is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. And I'm sure if you look online, you may find some cheaper 420 SELs, but I don't think you'll find one like this, which doesn't require any money to be spent on it. You can just get in it, drive it, and enjoy it, which is exactly what you want. It's even got the original Mercedes-Benz mud flaps from new which is great, all four of them are there, usually one or two gets removed or falls off. 
Um, so you can leave them on. If you take if you take them off, some people think that they look a bit better without. And yeah, the car just has a much more sleek look to it. But that's personal choice. We leave them on there. We we basically leave everything on the car that was on it when we got it. In 1990, there was an update which basically got you an airbag, memory electric seats, and the beautiful soft leather, which is very good on this car. The timber is excellent. You know, towards the middle of the car, it has gone a little bit lighter. But um, we've actually got a specialist who might be able to bring up that timber a little bit better. Other than the timber, everything about this car is great. Everything works. It drives beautifully. I've driven it. I actually had a 420 SEL. It was a 91 model. It was exactly the same colour as this. Long wheelbase, white, with the blue leather interior, and I absolutely loved it. And uh, I was certainly very happy when this came along because it brought back a lot of memories. And what makes these cars so incredible is that for a car which is over five metres long, it's got an incredibly good turning circle, it's got a reasonable fuel consumption, the 420 has plenty of power, they're safe, very reliable, and whether you want to buy it to drive on the weekend because you're a collector potentially, or if you actually want to buy it and drive it every single day to work, you can do whatever you like. It's uh, completely up to you. The 420 also came with windscreen wipers on the headlights, which I think just make a very, very beautiful car look even more exclusive. But it's very impressive. We are very happy to have it here at the Old Timer Centre. We used to sell a lot of these, but it's getting more and more difficult to find good ones. And so when this came up, we, we, uh, we bought it into stock straight away. Well thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre, we're located in Marrickville in Sydney and we certainly do look forward to hearing from you. Our website which you're on now obviously has about 30 to 40 photos on the car but if you do have any individual questions please give us a call, ask for me, Philip, um, I'd be more than happy to help you. I can't even walk out to the car and check anything as you may wish. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.